Ever wondered how organizations detect and defend against cyber threats 24 7 It all happens inside a security operations center or SOC. In this video, we'll explain what a SOC is, how it works, why companies need it, the tools it uses, and the roles involved. What is a SOC? A security operations center, or SOC, is the central hub where cybersecurity experts monitor, assess, and respond to security threats. Think of it as the nerve center of an organization's defense system, equipped with cutting-edge tools to identify and neutralize attacks before they cause harm. How does a SOC work? A SOC operates on six core functions that keep it effective. Monitoring Continuous surveillance of network activity, systems, and endpoints to detect unusual behavior. Detection, using advanced tools like SIEM systems, intrusion detection as systems IDs, and firewalls to identify malicious activities. Response, mitigating risks by containing breaches, removing threats, and recovering affected systems. Analysis, examining incidents in depth to understand their cause and impact, and to prevent future occurrences. Reporting, maintaining detailed records of threats and responses for compliance and audits, updating and evolving, adapting defense strategies to keep up with the latest cyber threats. Why do companies need a SOC? Cybersecurity threats are constant, and here's why companies rely on a SOC to defend against them. Threat detection and response. SOCs monitor every corner of an organization's digital infrastructure to identify and respond to threats in real time, compliance and regulations helps organizations meet data protection and cybersecurity standards required by laws and industry guidelines 24 7 monitoring cyber attacks don't follow a schedule socks ensure round-the-clock security incident response and management when an incident occurs the sock assesses neutralizes and recovers from it efficiently tools used in a sock SOCs rely on advanced tools and platforms to maintain security, including SIEM, Security Information and Event Management, the backbone of a SOC collecting and analyzing data from firewalls, IDs, and antivirus logs, DS and IPS intrusion detection and prevention systems. IDs passively detects threats while IPS actively blocks malicious activities. Firewalls act as a gatekeeper controlling network traffic to block unauthorized access, endpoint detection and response. Monitors endpoints like laptops and servers identifying and responding to threats that bypass perimeter defenses. Vulnerability management tools scan for weaknesses in the system and prioritize remediation to minimize risks. Threat intelligence platforms provide insights into emerging threats and attacker tactics, helping the SOC stay proactive. Key roles in a SOC team. A SOC operates with a tiered structure to ensure efficiency and expertise at every level. L1, SOC Analyst, the first line of defense, responsible for monitoring alerts, identifying potential threats, and escalating incidents when necessary. L2, Incident Responder, handles escalated incidents, analyzes threats in depth, and implements containment and remediation measures. L3, Threat Hunter, proactively searches for hidden threats within the network, identifying vulnerabilities before attackers exploit them. SOC Manager, oversees the SOC team, sets policies, ensures compliance, and coordinates incident response strategies. Threat Intelligence Analyst, gathers data on emerging threats and attacker tactics to keep the SOC ahead of evolving cyber risks. How to build a career in a SOC. If you're interested in joining a SOC team, here's what you need to do. Start with the basics. Learn networking, operating systems, and cybersecurity fundamentals. Gain relevant certifications. Entry level, CompTIA Security Plus or CSA Plus Certified SOC Analyst, Advanced Level, GX Certified Incident Handler, Geechee or CISP. Develop hands-on skills. Practice using tools like SIEM systems and EDER platforms in labs or through internships. Focus on continuous learning. Stay updated on emerging threats, technologies, and best practices. The future of SOCs. With the rise of AI and automation, SOCs are evolving to become faster and more efficient. However, the human element remains crucial for interpreting complex data, making strategic decisions, and responding to advanced threats. 
The Security Operations Center is the heart of any organization's cybersecurity efforts. Whether you're an aspiring professional or just curious about how it all works, understanding the SOC is essential in today's digital world. Thank you for watching, stay secure and follow for more cybersecurity updates.